Hello, I'm Paola Julio, associate producer on Far Cry Primal, and I'm here to talk about the game. So what are you guys showing new here with Far Cry Primal? Uh, we're showing you our new demo, a uh, three-hour demo actually, uh, that is going to introduce you to not only uh, our Beastmaster, but this time also to our colorful cal characters. What have you guys learned from past Far Cry games you're applying to Far Cry Primal? I think mainly what we tried to do with this game uh, was take, take things that were maybe a little bit more on the background and bring them to the foreground, like the fauna. Uh, it's really something that we invested a lot more on in this game and we put in the front and center. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the crafting of the game and how you've improved it um, from Far Cry 4? So yeah, I think the main experience we wanted to convey in this game was a survival experience and the crafting is completely related to that, so we will basically allow you to use the resource around you to build weapons, so you have a wide array of weapons like the bow that you know from previous Far Cry, but also the spear, the club, the sling, a brand new weapon set uh, in our game, and yeah, we'll be able to craft, you will have, so I don't know if you, if you notice, but in the demo you will meet specialists, they all are specialized in a different domain, and uh, you have one of them is a crafter and by working with him, you will develop new technologies which will allow you to, to craft new weapons um, and they will become more and more uh, efficient and uh, evolved uh, throughout your work with him during the game. So talk about the skill trees a little bit. They've expanded quite a lot since the past Far Cry game. They did, and they're also a lot more personalized because they are, once again, related to the specialists that you will find in the world. So you have seven different tree branches, as you have seven different specialists, and they all correspond to a skill you need to master to survive and push back the danger of the wild. Um, all this is related to our hub, the village, which is a brand new thing we're bringing on Far Cry. Uh, each specialist, by basically working with the specialist and fulfilling missions for them and bringing them a resource, you will improve their hut, which will uh, give you skills points to spend in their specific tree in any order you want. So how big is this map compared to other Far Cry worlds? very similar to other Far Cry world, but where we, it really stands out is that it's a lot more dense. As I'm sure you notice, we have we crank out the population of animals by almost uh, twice and also a lot more variety in terms of environment, a lot more diversity. So you have like the cedar forest that you explore, but you also have the glacier on the north, the swamps in the south and the marshlands and a lot of things that I don't want to spoil for you right now. Now this Far Cry game almost, feel, almost feels like a completely new experience from other Far Cry franchises. Um, explain like the differences, instead of binoculars you have the owl. So go into a little bit of the differences of the same things you'll see in the series but are different in Far Cry Primal. Yeah, we wanted it to feel familiar but at the same time really fresh. And so, to tell you the truth, our NPCs didn't even knew how to walk without guns. So we had to completely rethink the entire gameplay loop and all the archetypes etc but at the same time it's still the far cry you love with the big systemic open world sandbox and the colorful characters that we all cherish since far cry 3. Now your crafting has gone really overboard in this game it's it's a lot to take in go a little bit about talk a little bit about that system and how crafting will work in far cry primal uh, you had a kind of accelerated version of that uh, in the walkthrough, but it's going to be really step by step. It's the crafting in the same way than the other skills are going to evolve with your character. So you will start really just being able to craft a small weapon that will be destroyed very quickly because I think one thing that is really interesting is that we added the crafting but we also added at the same time the durability aspect. So they complement each other. So at first you'll craft weapons that are not as strong and that, dest that destroy very fast and the more you advance in the game the more you discover new weapons type and you'll be able to craft better and better weapons. For example your bow at the start is really a very simple bow. You just shoot on weapon, it doesn't have a big range but when you end the last weapon you have will shoot three arrows at one. So yeah, a big range of involvement in the crafting system. Can you talk about some of the enemies you'll face off in the game? Uh, the animals' enemies or the humans' enemies? Both. Okay, so the, first of all, because you were at the bottom of the food chain, we really put a lot of emphasis on the animals because they are the master of this world, not the human. So they are, they are really the megaphone is the first thing we wanted you to fight. Uh, on the other hand, while, well, you know, as Takar, you play as a seasoned hunter that arrives in a strange land by himself and you will learn and you 
your goal will be to find your lost ancestors and make your tribe thrive again. And one of the, so uh, while doing that, you will quickly attract the attention of two rival uh, tribes that you saw in the in the demo as well. So you have on one side the Udam, which are the most primitive bunch of the region with their chef holes. And on the other side, you have the other end of the spectrum, which are the Izila, that are the most technologically advanced uh, tribe of the region. They have they are very religious uh, and they basically consider that everybody should be their slave. And her, their ma her master Bastari that you saw also in the demo. So these are the main two uh, humans opponents you'll face. Did you guys have history consultants on this project to help you make sure that it was accurate for 10,000 BC? So many. Not only like anthropologists, but also language specialists and you know this because the language that is spoken is this, in this game is actually uh, the mother of all language, the Proto-Indo-European. Uh, we also met movement specialists because people didn't move in the Stone Age in the same way they move today. So yeah, a lot of research. But also what we understand very quickly is that we don't know much about this time and space. So we, all we have left is like stone and bones. So we had to fill the gap and make it ours. And when does Far Cry Primal come out? Uh, it came out February 23rd on PS4 and Xbox One and it will come out on PC on March 1st.